What's up, Reavers? My name is Seth, and we are back in with some more Troll. Let's play episode, finally. Most of all, today, it's honestly because I, I've been really busy, guys. Like, Maple Story 2's closed beta ended up coming out, whether you're interested in that game or not. Personally, I do think that Troll fans would be able to appreciate the type of game that it is. Uh, I kind of been doing lots of comparison videos and talking about some of the similarities that both of these games have. Most of all, just because of the fact that Maple Story is going to end up being uh, a free-to-play MMORPG that's going to come out who knows when, hopefully sometime later this year. But it's got a very, very similar pay to win cash shop system to trove in that the end game is you grinding gems uh and and then spending money to level up those gems but i don't really have anything for today like nothing nothing really special we're just gonna be hanging out uh and i'm kind of just gonna I, I guess catch you up on a couple things that i've been doing behind the scenes with trove and everything like that uh you know kind of break the fourth wall normally when I end up recording these episodes I try my best to not go into too much detail into like other games and other things that are going on on the channel but uh, I wanted to address the biggest issue that so many people keep asking me and talking to me about which is me quitting console why I quit console what ended up happening now I, I ended up already talking about this in my last Xbox episode but I, I think that it's time that we have a definitive hey guys I quit just just to let everybody know because I still constantly get questions of people you know asking me to play on console uh, in the first place or some people that ended up watching the video and just asking like wait wait did you actually quit console or what like I I have officially quit the console version of Trove I'm sorry to say guys and th there's a couple reasons for that uh, it's not that I'm trying to like move away from the community or anything uh, most of all I actually feel that the communities were left in good hands at least more specifically on the Xbox version of the game you know I still keep in touch with the Xbox officers for Trove uh, Jub Jub Club but when it comes to the PS4 like I'll go squid uh, those officers they never really ended up coming into the discord or anything like that and because of it I don't really have tabs on them uh, you know I don't really know what's going on with my baby the club and everything like that outside of the fact that I know that it's still thriving pretty well you know lots of people like to say all oh, these the the clubs are dead now that scythe isn't in them mm, you know they're not really generating as much popularity as they were when i was making videos directly advertising those clubs or anything like that but that's not to say that people aren't still interested in being a part of the community that we ended up creating because uh, i feel that uh the people that i left in charge are very good at representing uh you know the whole thing that we were trying to do in the first place which was just trying to have a community where people could end up hanging out having a good time uh that you know for the most part is kid friendly console is a little bit different uh, i know jub jub is actually doing very well xbox uh, surprisingly has a lot more kids playing it than the playstation 4 is a more mature console so i kind of had to have a little bit more leeway to the whole family friendly thing and you know l let some stuff pass that Normally, I wouldn't have let slide in the PC or Xbox club, right? But most of all, that's got to do with just the people that are playing it. So it's like, all right, well, this is the people that are playing it. So I don't want to just be a stickler and make them have like a really bad time. Let's just make it so that they have a good time. But anyways, the reason I ended up quitting on uh, Trove on console, uh, most of all, has got to do with time. Uh, first and foremost, I personally can't stand playing Trove with a controller. That's one of the big things. Uh, but then on top of that, the rough start that it had with the frame rate issues, uh, and then generally speaking, like the slow typing. Uh, I know that you can use side apps on the console to end up using the keyboard uh, a little bit more effectively. But generally speaking, Trove would absolutely drain in frame rate whenever I was trying to actually type stuff. And it was also a keyboard I wasn't used to. So there was that, you know, it was just... Generally, the point I'm trying to get across is that playing Trove on console was always very c uncomfortable for me. And I don't think that was going to end up going away unless I ended up playing it for a very, very long period of time. But this is also a game that I've been playing on PC for years before it ended up even coming out on console. And now suddenly I'm just thrust into this, oh, you're going to be playing this game with a controller now, even though it's going to be the exact same game. And because of it, I personally... Uh, struggled a lot with the controls and felt that I was being very inefficient, uh, you know, and I would end up falling off of dungeons or just not making it up to the top of them and stuff like that. And because of it, it was a little bit frustrating, uh, but more so, again, I would say that it was uncomfortable for me, 
rather than just saying like, oh, I had a bad time with it. Because no, I didn't have a bad time with it. I, I loved the community that we had. And playing on console was fun, uh, you know, at first trying to grind all the stuff up and everything like that. But then something crazy ended up happening. We suddenly had a whole bunch of Trove updates come out more recently over the past months that added such a huge bulk of things to grind. I won't necessarily say content. Uh, I guess things to grind in Trove is content though, isn't it? Um, but it added so many things to grind that I was just completely overwhelmed. Like even on PC, I'm still like the, you know, you're sitting here wondering, why is he doing hard, uh, Hydra Towers over and over? Because I'm still grinding my stupid Shadow Tower badges, man. Like, I ended up uh, completing the Ultra, Hydra, and Dreadnought over 300 times when the Mantle, uh, not the Mantle of Power, when the Shadow Tower update ended up coming out. But then they added the badge way later when I was already burnt out of Shadow Towers and had no incentive to do it. Outside of right now, the only reason that I'm even doing these Shadow Towers is because this is the end game. This is all I can really do right now in Trove, uh, it, you know, because the things that I need to collect in the game are just slow, slow grinds, you know, like I could either kill myself uh, dedicating like so much hours of my time to just blast through all the shadow towers, but then I'll end, I would end up burnt out, right? So kind of to come full circle, the ultimate reason why I ended up quitting console is just because of the fact that I was overwhelmed with things to do on the PC version already. And I would personally rather have videos on PC that kind of uh, you know, talk about and empathize with a lot of the things that are going on with console, you know, because now I actually have the experience under my belt of playing Trove on console. And because of that, uh, you know, I feel that my tutorials got a lot better and just my general videos, uh, you know, about Trove ended up getting better because now I can kind of appreciate both of the worlds that we got playing here. And, you know, like Lexian is a very good example where I, you know, try to make sure to make the videos uh, useful for PC players, but also useful for console players where a lot of the stuff that he's selling, you know, it's the first time that you guys are actually seeing those items. Whereas for PC players, we're only seeing maybe one or two new items being added to the game. So anyways, I, I don't think I need to ramble on any further than that as far as why I ended up quitting the console version. Uh, you know, this is just a definitive me saying, Yes, I quit console and I'm sorry, I have no plans on going back to it. But you can always join my Discord and kind of hang out and talk with me and stuff and talk with the other Xbox officers anyways. Again, the PS4 community, unfortunately, is not a, a part of the Discord very much. I, I think most of all that's got to do with console life, you know, not really. It, it doesn't really coincide with PC gaming as much. If you got a console, you're pretty much just on that all the time. Whereas for me, I'm just on the PC all the time. And so Discord kind of is the best of both worlds, kind of, in a way. I don't know. Maybe there's an Xbox app for Discord that I don't even know about. But anyways, um, as far as the actual like grind of Trove and stuff that's going on with it, uh, I, I think I already talked about this either in, was it my last episode already or was that just in the last live stream? But we're two power rank away from being top and competing with everybody as far as the highest power rank. And that uh, single-handedly has to do with my mastery level being one lower than everybody else. Because if I ended up grinding like these shadow tower badges, like let's take a peek here. So we need, oh, we need 100 more mastery and then we'll end up getting to 566, which is really, really cool because that means that all I need is this Hydraken badge right here, which we're at 251. So I need to do 50 more Hydra runs. Yikes. Uh, but then on top of that, we could do these right here, which this is all ultra for the Hydra. Uh, and that wouldn't end up giving me a mastery level. It would be very close though. And then there's the Ultra Dread. So getting all of this would give me another mastery level. So if I had all of the badges right now, like all of these Shadow Tower badges, we would have two mastery levels. For every mastery level, you get two power rank and a little bit of stat increase, uh, meaning that I would actually be at uh, the highest power rank in the game. That's kind of the Arabic question everybody keeps asking. So that would be 26076. All right. 
Unless can you end up gaining enough mastery out of this to end up gaining another level? No, 27 or 26076 must be the actual highest power rank in the entire game, including uh, the rampages and other badges. So that's pretty cool. Now, another thing too that I know you guys keep asking about is what's going on with the May update. Honestly speaking, I don't know. Hopefully we're going to end up getting uh, a live stream that's going to be a little bit more coherent later this week where the devs are going to actually show us some pvp stuff instead of constantly saying they're going to show us pvp stuff and then just backing down last minute and, or showing us a screenshot yeah technically speaking you guys showed us P the new pvp but not really and it, it's weird that it's supposed to be like a may update and they you know we're already like a week or two into the month and we haven't ended up getting anything uh you know ex to get excited or drool over you know what i mean but you know there there is also going to end up being the u10 update which hopefully that one's going to end up showing up maybe maybe two to three months from now i would say because apparently it's planned for a fall update and we'll kind of have to see whether or not the new gear ends up being something that's you know delivered properly or if it's going to be something that's gonna make lots of people quit seems like we're actually stuck on version check come on load through the world uh but the login bug is another thing that's still very apparent with uh the shadow towers which they're trying to fix it, but I mean, I, I wish that they would just get on fixing it a little bit faster rather than waiting for the next update to end up putting it out. But I, I think a lot of that's got to do with the console politics of uh, they can only end up putting out so many updates uh, with the console version. Otherwise, it ends up costing them a lot or something like that. Oh, and then last but not least, because I know you guys are going to be screaming at me. This costume that we're rocking right here is a mod. It's called the Phoenix Van uh, Phoenix Guardian. Uh, as far as I know, it's only on Trove Saurus, so you gotta use TroveTools.net on PC only. Uh, I don't think it's on Steam, but you can still use TroveTools.net. In any case, though, thanks for watching. Just wanted to have this as a quick little uh, recap video, as well as explaining my reasons for leaving console uh, in a little bit more detail than just, oh, I just left because I quit because it got boring. Like, it wasn't necessarily that it got boring. It was just way too overwhelming for me to try and keep up the series on multiple versions of the game while all just having multiple progresses you know what i mean oh and then last but not least so many people keep asking me can you just start a new file on trove i see no reason to do that like the there's other trove youtubers doing that you can watch them i have no like desire to restart the game i'm at the end game i earned this like i i want to stay here plus it's very convenient for me to be able to hop on and do like live streams or record videos and stuff knowing that you know it's like oh here's something that's new for you guys or here's something that hopefully is exciting for you guys but in either case thanks for watching very much appreciate it don't forget to like share favorite and subscribe for more daily content and if you want to support me you can always sponsor my youtube channel or check links in the description for my merch store where you can pick up this shirt we got a bunch of ours we got some new shirts as well which i ordered and they're gonna take like a long time before i can show them off in videos or you can check out gawk box which is a way that you can donate to me for free sign or and stay up everybody